guys welcome back to random lifestyle vlog welcome to another advent calendar unboxing video and this time we have something a little bit different because we have a tea advent calendar and this is withered um tea advent calendar as you can see the box is just gorgeous i'm going to show you from i mean luckily it's not that big and it's quite light so i can just show it to you from all the angles here it's gorgeous i mean um even though the pattern is actually quite like intense here i think it's still it's still classy uh which is like quite difficult to do because uh usually simplicity is classy uh but this in my personal opinion still has some like class to it so i do love it i really love it uh so yeah i'm going to show it to you inside <laughs> it's so gorgeously colorful uh so yeah before i start the unboxing i'd like to remind you about our giveaway that's happening at the moment you'll find the link above my head and in the description box below uh, and if you're new here or if you haven't done that yet please remember to subscribe and click the notification bell because you wouldn't want to miss our next videos right okay so let's get to it let's start our unboxing this will probably be quite uh fast because i think there are some repetitions in here there are some repeats uh so number one is here oh so we have not only tea but we have like this little cute uh tea bag dish and it's like a little fish uh it says with dirt in the bag so actually that's a nice beginning and here uh number one we have christmas tea uh and we have actually two uh tea bags so i think there will be at least two tea bags in every drawer so it's a perfect for couple right uh so this one christmas tea is black tea with flavorings and intensely aromatic tea infused with flavors of spice and citrus mm, I, can, I think i can smell a bit um but yeah i mean it's it actually sounds lovely it sounds like a perfect christmas treat right uh on the first day of december of course so number two number two is down here and we have mango and bergamot so this is a green tea and it says a sweetly sophisticated green tea adding a touch of the tropical to afternoon tea that sounds lovely and that sounds like something Robert will love because he loves mango and he loves bergamot. So he'll probably drink all of them. And we have actually four uh, tea bags in here. So it's like for the whole family now. Uh, number three. Uh, number three is... Da, 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 I can't see it. So number three is here. And actually this pattern makes it a little bit difficult to find the number. Uh, so number three is an English rose. I mean, obviously it would have to be an English advent calendar, right? Uh, so this is a black tea and it says a village fed tea for scones and strawberry jam with delicate flavors of glorious rose. That sounds wonderful. I can't wait to try that one. Uh, number four. Number four is up here. And here we have an English classic, Earl Grey. Uh, so it says the quintessential British blend beautifully balanced with flavors of bergamot. I do love her grey. Uh, I personally, I think it's my favorite black, black tea. Um, yeah. So number five is down here. And uh, this one is an afternoon tea. Uh, tea blend with flavoring. And it says our signature blend of black and green tea expertly balanced with flavors of bergamot. Yeah, and we have four bags, uh, four tea bags in every drawer. Number six is up here. And here we have English breakfast. Versatile and invigorating with a robust multi richness, superb served with a splash of a milk. So, yeah, drinking a black tea the English way, I kind of got used to it. Uh, did you know that in Poland we actually drink tea with lemon, without milk, don't worry, lemon without milk, lemon and uh, sugar? Or lemon and honey so it's a traditional way to drink tea in poland uh we i mean we do drink tea with milk sometimes it's usually a type of drink you give to like kids um but it's not like extremely popular uh usually we drink it with uh, lemon so yeah something new for you to try if you're brave enough but it's actually quite delicious so nothing to worry about and uh, number seven just don't put too much lemon because it might be like too sour for you uh, in the first place so number seven is up here and we have a 
Will I pronounce it correct? Because I never know. Darjeeling, Dar Darjeeling? I think so. I never know how to pronounce it. So I never pronounce it, actually. I just call it black tea. Uh, and it says, a distinctly delicate black tea grown in the foothills of the Himalayas. So, yeah. Number eight is here. And we have something yellow. And this is a golden chamomile. Classically comforting and naturally sweet, a golden herbal tea with a fragrant flor fro floral finish. So we have four of these here. That kind of makes sense because chamomile is quite calming. So if you're like stressed with all the preparation for Christmas, um, then we might actually want to have some chamomile tea. And uh, number nine is here. And here we have another, another set of English breakfast. Number 10. Uh, we have a Chelsea Garden, and this is white tea, uh, and it says this rose-scattered white tea is a treat for anyone with green fingers. That sounds lovely. I mean, I can't really smell much. I can't. can't really smell much, but it just sounds delicious. Number 11 up here, and here we have a licor licorice lemongrass. Uh, so it says zesty lemongrass and a sweet licorice with a cardamom and ginger kick. Number 12, and we have a peppermint. Okay, uh, so perfect tea for like digestion. Uh, and it says a cool, clean and refreshing blend of pure peppermint leaves for a soothing infusion. Number 13 is here. And this is Piccadilly blend. I love the color, by the way. So this is Piccadilly blend, black tea with flavoring, and it says take a trip to town with this fruity floral black tea blend. That sounds really good. I, I'm just trying to sniff it, but I can't really get much from it. Uh, but this is actually black tea with hibiscus. That's going to be lovely. That's going to be lovely for sure. Number 14. And we have another set of mango and bergamot. Number 15 here. And this one is super fruit, a groovy super fruit blend of goi, acai, and ruby red hibiscus. Number 16, and we have another set of peppermint. Number 17, and here's lemon and ginger. Okay, so that's a warming blend. I do love um, the combination of lemon and ginger. And it says invigorating ginger with a citrus cake blended with the blackberry leaves. Ooh, for a soft, sweet finish. That's going to be delicious. Yeah. I mean, this sounds like something I'm going to love, definitely. Uh, so, yeah. Number 18. Number 18 here. And this is another set of Darjeeling. Number 19 is a Sleepy Tea. Sleepy Tea uh, says that it's a lullaby of chamomile, lavender, licorice, and linden flowers. So it looks like this. It contains licorice. So I'm not really sure if it's a Sleepy Tea for everyone. If you have hypertension, uh, I guess a licorice probably won't be the best option for you. It will just wake you up a little bit more. It will just make your heart, heart beat faster. So... Uh, I'm not really sure if it's like a proper sleepy tea. Uh, yeah, it actually says it on the back. It contains licorice. People suffering from hypertension should avoid excessive consumption. So yeah, here's a tip for you. If you have a hypertension, just try to drink it in the morning maybe. Or just skip this one uh, in general. Uh, number 20 is here. And we have another set of Chelsea Garden. So a rust scattered white tea. Number 21, and this is a very berry crush. A riotous symphony of bright summer berries, sweet rose hip, and piquant hibiscus flowers. Again, smells lovely. So it contains hibiscus, apple, rose hip, elderberry, raspberry, and strawberry. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Uh, 22, we're almost at the end. Um, I can see 23, I can see 24, but obviously I can't find 22. Okay, 22 is here, and we have another set of Earl Grey. 23, and we have Apple and Edelflower, a richly rustic blend uh, with autumnal flavors of apple, edelflower, and a rustle of rose. Again, that one sounds amazing. I just honestly, I can't wait to try all of these. Um, 
and we have number 24 so i'm quite curious what that one could be um so i can feel that already that we only have tea i was actually hoping for like a, a nice little gift like in the number day number one but that's fine we have tea and we have another set of Christmas tea. It's the same tea we had in the num number one. Yeah, it's the same one. So it's just black tea with flavoring, intensely aromatic tea infused with flavors of spice and citrus. Uh, I mean, I do love that kind of tea, so definitely I'm going to enjoy it. Okay, so this is the Wither Tea Advent Calendar fully unboxed. Uh, what do you think? I personally think this advent calendar is actually perfect for tea lovers, obviously. Uh, I love the fact that we have more than one tea bag in each uh, drawer and I just love the design. I mean, I love how it looks. It just, I think, I think it's just amazing. And the best part is that it's actually reusable. So you can just reuse it next year or even this year if you just buy it for yourself, drink the tea and you can reuse it as an advent calendar. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to enjoy those teas a lot. So thank you very much for watching. Please let me know down in the comments below what do you think of advent calendars like this one. Uh, I mean like tea or coffee uh, advent calendar. Something a little bit different to uh, classic beauty advent calendars or chocolate for that matter because you know these were the first ones and um, so yeah i mean i do enjoy it but i'm really curious uh what you think about it uh so thank you very much for watching again uh thank you for spending this time with me and i'm going to see you very soon